Hello there, it's Stuart from LARP Book. We're here at Tank LARP 2021, and I'm here with Justin, and he's gonna show us something really, really cool. Hi, Justin. Good, good to meet you. Right, uh, so you've got something, quite, well, quite unique by the looks of it, right? Uh, I saw it in action a little bit yesterday. The accuracy on this darn thing is <laughs> ridiculous. Talk to us about it. So hi, yes. Um, so this is the Larkabus. Um, it's something I've been working on for LARP for the last um, four or five years. Right, um, okay. And this is the latest iteration. This is the Mark V. Right. Um, and what this is, is a, um, it's a medieval matchlock that's designed specifically for okay. use in LARP. Right. Okay, Dougie. So uh, take us through it. Take us, you know, how... And, 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 and I suppose the next one in my in, in my head was why? <laughs> Good question. I suppose um, it comes down to um, that I've all you know we, we do fantasy, high fantasy, which yeah. is in like the fifteenth century, you know, yeah. and the sixteenth century, and these were common back then. Yeah, that's right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, look, see everybody. Why nots work? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Why not so great? <laughs> so I do remember um, a few years ago there was um, a, LARP, a LARP system that ran for a while called Cry Havoc. Yes. 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 So what it was, um, we d they decided, you know, oh, well, we're not too sure about black powder, and I said, okay. well, what if I made um, a you know, black powder gun that worked, you know, and actually fired, you know, a shot, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's not actually black powder, you know, it's Nerf. Yeah. I was like, well, it can't be a Nerf gun because they don't look right. I was like. I can sort that. I can sort that. So they were like, "All right, well, we don't. We're not too sure about this. Yeah, so we're yeah. going to make we're going to make it challenge. So it's, it's got to fire something. Yeah, no problem. It's got to make smoke. Okay, and it's got to make a bang. And it's like, nah, no problem, mate. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, what we've got is a very very basic nerf mechanism in okay. here now it's not one that's come out, come out of a nerf gun it's a really simple one um but that's so simple that anyone with a 3d printer can actually can actually produce and okay. uh, we'll go into the, the that a bit, a bit later yeah uh, how about people could go about that okay so this is my own version of it um and it's a single shot so you have to use the ramrod to yeah. load it Got and then um to get the smoke dead simple you just put some talcum powder down Sorted. Yeah, I mean, duh. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, what we've got here is a, is a, is a basic match lock where you okay. can put a toy cap on. Right. And then when you fire it... Yeah. It fires, bump, bang, bang etc. You get Sorted. The, so you get the bang, you get the shot, you get the smoke. And they were like, yeah, okay, we're going to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they went... Yeah. <laughs> so it's cool. they're rated at the normal uh, Nerf power. Okay. So um, you know, iPro is recommended, okay. but it's not necessary. Yeah, um, right. In fact, uh, <laughs> I know of one chap who sold them for me, and he went like this deliberately. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, it's fine. It's like, <laughs> <"Nut up." laughs> and I don't recommend yeah, that. Yeah. What if it had? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So there is safety in mind. Naturally, unfortunately, being wood and metal, yeah. it can't be used as a melee weapon. No, that's but right. we don't use our crossbows and, and our bows as melee weapons no, that's either. Right. Yeah. So it's in the same vein, you know, as any other range Got art you. weapon. Got it you. is just for ranged use. Got you. Got you. Okay. Right. So show us a little bit how, how it works then. My pleasure. <laughs> so the um, the other thing that I wanted to do was to, for it to, to to work and load. As close to an actual, you know, match lock as possible. So yeah. normally there'll be a hole in this. That's right. Yeah. This, but yeah. Unfortunately, as this prototype, I haven't drilled the hole. So you take the ramrod out. Yeah. You place it down. Yeah. And you push it all the way down until it clicks. Because it clicks. That's ready to load. Got it. So it's a little bit different from the where you'd normally, um, you know, put the thing down. You know, yeah. put the you know the powder down and that. But it's similar. And you put your ball down, and you tamp your ball down. And then at that point, you'd only put some powder, powder. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I haven't got my, no. uh, my, 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 my rig with all the powder. And then bring that back, prime yeah. your pan. Yeah. And then you're ready to fire. Jesus Christ. That's, oh, they're almost at the bloody post over there. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> 
Good Lord. So the idea was, um, I was reading medieval treaties about how these were used. Okay. And they would say, um, you should, with with an arquebus, you should aim... When at no le- no more than two pike length, if you want to reliably punch through the armour. Two pike length. Two pike length. Now that's about what, fifteen ish metres? Yeah, Very yeah. short. So yeah. the idea was I wanted this to have a range of fifteen metres. Got you. Accurately. Accurately. Yeah. So that it would pretty much demonstrate the uh or pretty much be useful at the effective ranges of an actual medieval you know, Got you. Weapon. Got you. Now they could reach out to you know hundred or so yeah, yards, yeah, 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 um, yeah. but they wouldn't reliably you know punch through plate. Got you. But uh, you know most of the time you at LARP you're going to be fighting people who are in you know big clank plate. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So so you 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 want them to know that there's been an impact as yes, well, didn't you? In, absolutely. In, in, in that in that respect. So yeah. you were mentioning uh, that there's a a, a three D printable version of this. So yes. How how do people get hold of that then if they want to make their own? Okay, so um, on. Facebook, there is a group known as the uh, Medieval um, LARP, uh, Med- Medieval Handgunners LARP group. Okay, um, Medieval Handgunners LARP, LARP group. Right. Well, and I'll give you the, the link for that, so you can put that on. Yeah. Now, if you go on to there, um, there is a um, there's a link to um, what's known as GitHub. Yes, I know GitHub. Right? We know GitHub very well. And on GitHub, <laughs> I have put all of the files to make the Mark II version. Okay. So it's very similar to this. This is just a refined version, um, which I've just made some tweaks to the the design, that's all. But it's largely the same, and it's the one that um, people have gone out and bought. And I've made those, all those those files free for uh, people to make their own um, version. Because much like in the early days with Mike Stringer and the others who developed the first LARP arrows, they gave those out, those designs out for free. Yeah. Likewise with this, Got you know, you. I'll make and sell my own ones yeah. occasionally, yeah. Um, but it's not my job. Got so you. what I want is for you know, people to p- pick up the idea and run yeah. with it. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the other, um, you know, that's the other yeah. thing for that LARP, yeah. you know, that, that Facebook group. Genius idea. It's a place for people to discuss uh, how to make them, and we share our secrets, nice. so that there are no yeah, secrets. Yeah. So there are no secrets, exactly. Superb. Well, thank you very much. So, how can people actually find you, you know, on the internet and what have you, if they want to get in contact with you about these sorts of things? Um, as a rule, I, I don't take commissions. So, um, if you want the, if, so if you want to get one of these, um, you you shouldn't go through to me. I don't um, sell them directly. Okay. Right. Um, what I recommend is you go to Jim's shop okay. um, and um, I sell them to, um, well, I, I, I give them to Jim to sell on my behalf. Um, if he gets enough interest, I'll usually do a run and yeah, then yeah, they'll yeah. be available. That, that's fine, no worries, that's fine. Well, thank you very much yeah, for all of that. Absolutely superb. I saw, I saw it in action yesterday. Uh, I've just seen an action with there as well, and that was a ridiculously long way and very accurate. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much for, for, for your time today. Thank you very much. No Cheers. Problem. No worries. So don't forget, people, you know, keep looking out for us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, yep, LARP book, right? If you haven't sussed it out by now, that's our name. Uh, so bye for now, and thanks for watching.